Being liked at work has so many advantages, from helping you get better peer reviews, help when you need it, or even establishing yourself as a leader. Plus, you'll deal with way less drama. That's why you need to know these five easy hacks that boost your likability at work in five minutes or less. If you're ready for them, tap that like button and let's jump straight in. We're going to start with the easiest one. Find a reason to like the other person. This likability booster works for a very simple reason. We tend to like people who like us and vice versa. Now I do realize that this is going to be easier with some people than others, but there's a few places that you can look in order to find a reason to like someone. First and foremost, we need to differentiate because sometimes people are very different personally than they are at work. So you can like the person without necessarily having them be your favorite person in work, especially if they're one of the five villains that I talked about in a recent video. But there are so many reasons to like anyone. It can be as small as liking them for your mutual hatred of eggs or admiring their grammatical accuracy in emails. Or maybe there was that one time that they laughed at one of your bad jokes in a meeting. Even if it's just one thing, find a reason to like that person that you're working with. This is going to totally change your energy towards them, which in turn is going to change their energy towards you. Now, the next tip that I have for you to boost your likability actually piggybacks off of this one, and that is to pay them a compliment. The reason why this hack works is because people like people who make them feel good about themselves. It's so simple and it has such a big payoff. Think about it. Even if your worst frenemy at work, it's Rachel, compliments you, it makes you feel good about yourself and that makes you like them even if it's just a tiny bit more. You know, Rachel's not so bad after all. Now, this is actually really simple to do. You just found a reason why you like that person. You can actually use that reason to issue them a compliment. It can be super casual. Reply to their email and say, I love how you don't make a million typos like Jennifer does. I make a lot of typos. <laughs> However, I'm sure that there's lots of reasons that you can give them a compliment. What I recommend is to find a reason to give them kudos for a job well done. This is gonna recognize their work, make them feel validated and seen, and they're gonna like you more. Now you get a bonus if you also CC their boss so their boss knows about the good work that they did, making them look good, making them feel good about themselves. We're basically likability booster stacking here at this point. And I'm gonna give you an extra bonus on this tip if you give them a compliment on something that they contributed on or helped you with, which puts a little bit of a showcase on your work. Everyone's winning. But wait, there's more. There is an ultra bonus level here because what happens in the human brain is when someone issues a compliment, the person feels indebted. They feel like they owe them something and they are immediately going to search for a way in order to repay that karma. And they're probably gonna give you a compliment in return. And if that happens, that is aces. It is just icing on the cake. And there's probably another bonus level if there is actual cake involved. And this actually brings me into my third quick and easy tip on how to be more likable at work. And this is actually going to help you a lot with the last one. And that is to ask them for help. The reason why this helps you become more likable at work is when you ask someone for help, you are making them feel important. You are recognizing their awesomeness and what they can contribute. Again, this makes them feel good, makes them like themselves, makes them like you. Have you spotted the pattern here? <laughs> now, just like the last tip, this actually pays off in more than being more likable at work. This can actually really help you be more successful with their input, but also raise visibility. Because when you ask them for help, they are now personally invested. Whether it's asking for their opinion on a strategy that you're setting, a solution to a problem that you are struggling to solve on your own, or just getting an opinion on something. If you implement their advice, they are now invested and they are actually a contributor to that project. Now, I know a lot of you are like, yikes, no, I'm not sharing credit. They are not taking credit for my work. That's not what's happening here. The thing is, is if your success is their success, they're gonna talk about it because it makes them look good making them like you more. Again, that's the whole point here. But it also gives you that natural follow-up in order to praise them, which again is going to amplify your likability with them. And it actually gives you more opportunities to have your work promoted and showcased. Remember, just because they look good doesn't mean you look bad. In this situation, everyone looks good everyone wins and that's the situations that we want to construct whenever possible at work. Now, this fourth tip is probably going to earn me a lot of thumbs down on this video because I know, I know there are going to be people watching this that 
don't like what I'm about to say, except for the awesome people. They're gonna stick around and they're gonna be here for it. My fourth tip on how to be more likable at work is to keep it professional. More and more in the conversations that we're having here and that I'm having live with clients and on different platforms and in different ways is that people are really bringing a lot of stuff into work that is not work appropriate. For some reason, professionalism has just flown out the window. Now this isn't to say that we need to be stodgy, wearing suits, and and boring and dull and like robots because that's not it at all. And I don't know, maybe I'm just a dinosaur, but I'm a big believer in workplace etiquette. In fact, I think workplace etiquette is crucial to have a healthy workplace. This is how we maintain a positive working environments, demonstrate mutual respect for each other, and ultimately poise ourselves to be likable at work because we're not alienating anyone. Now, if you want those things like more respect at work and getting promotions and the pay increases that go with them, make sure you're subscribed and tap the notification bell so that you can catch that video as soon as it comes out. However, somewhat related, we're gonna go into the fifth likability booster that takes less than five minutes to implement. And guys, this one is so easy. It's, it's a lost art, really. <laughs> the fifth way to be more likable at work is to not be a D-bag. Being kind goes a long way. Kindness makes people feel respected, appreciated, validated, and it just makes the workplace so much more pleasant. And there's so many ways to implement this hack that take literally two seconds. For example, smile at someone. It's not hard. Just when someone is speaking in a meeting, pay attention, listen to them. Don't be sitting there scrolling your phone, signaling that you just don't give an F about what they have to say. No one likes the person who does that. It's rude. Another thing that you can do, and this is actually going to amplify your likability even more, tell them that you like them. I really like working with you. I really like what you had to say in the meeting. I really like your contributions to this project. There are, again, going back to the reasons why you like them, there are so many reasons why you actually like someone, but how often do you go out of your way to tell them that you like someone? And how awesome is it when someone tells you that they like you or that they like something that you did? Again, making them feel good, makes them like you. I know I've said that a million times in this video, but this is really a fundamental tenet of likability. Ultimately, this tip works because being a good human works. <laughs> And I sincerely believe that the more that we can just treat people well, whether or not we like them, by the way, the more positive experience we're going to have at work, the more we'll like our jobs. And quite honestly, this is going to pay off for you because it's going to help you create more career success. Now I have one more tip. This one I didn't want to include in this video because it does take more than five minutes, but it is really easy to get started on. One of the best ways to increase your likability at work is to build your confidence. People really like confident people. We gravitate towards confident people. That's why people like Chad. If, and if you've been hanging around here or you watch my five villains at work video, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Now, I know it's easy to say, just build your confidence, but you're probably wondering how you can do that. Well, the main way that I suggest you build your confidence is by knowing and owning your unique awesomeness quotient, your UAQ. This is the foundation of confidence at work and it is going to show up in all ways, from interactions with coworkers to your likelihood of getting a promotion at work. If you haven't already, I do have a free UAQ starter kit that you can download using the link in the description bar down below. And I also talk about it in this video, so go over there, check it out, get the starter kit. I really think it's going to help you be more liked at work and be more successful. But before you go, if you are walking away with even one tip to be more likable at work that you can do in under five minutes, give this video a like, it really helps my channel and it makes you my career bestie. So again, it's a win-win situation. As always, my friend, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.